Hey everybody, it's the Red Road Homestead, and I'll just show you the what's going on today. Sometimes homesteading is not just all easy as you think, but yeah, my neighbors over there, they've got a pit bull and a lab, and my son Little Wolf put a fence across there trying to keep deter their animals, their chickens, their roosters that attack me, and the um, freaking dogs because the dogs come over here and for some reason they like my fig trees so does my grandkids so anyway the dogs ended up for the first time in a month or two going around that fence and coming over here yesterday so that got me moving on putting some fencing around my fig trees so I don't lose them again because if you remember right they had real they were pretty tall and I thought they were dead, and I went to dig them up and found out that there was shoots coming back up from the ground. So I put these cages around them today. Here's the first one, and there's the second one. Hopefully keeping critters out of there. And show you the downside of homesteading. Yeah, we get rainwater, but... I use that pretty much for cleaning and everything else. But at least every couple of weeks, I have to run to a state park if we want drinking water. You buy water from the store, it gets expensive after a while. So yeah, I'm going to have to go to the state park and fill all these jugs. If you got a well, that's fine. But if you buy property that nothing's ever been on, them wells are pretty expensive. So... Here's the downfall. You have to go get water. And then you don't have trash pickup if you live as far out in the boonies as I do. So I have to drive to the dump at least once a week. I drive to the dump. And so I'll be dropping off trash too. And the other thing is we went and, uh, today because we had like four days of rain. And I had the meat chickens in that dog cage with the um, wood shavings in that. Of course, they knocked their food over and they knocked the water over. But the rain usually comes from over in that direction. Well, that last rain <laughs> came the other way. And so where I had the meat chickens up here on the porch to try to protect them from the rain in the dog cage... It got thick and trampled and mucky and between the food and the wood shavings and the chicken poop. And so even though the meat chickens are tiny, I had to um, go ahead and take them, get them ready out space coop. So I had Shepherd's uh, Homestead come out. And I'm not going to go too far because I know I'll lose the sound and then I'll walk out here and show you. But, yeah, them little chicks look pretty dirty. I wanted to give them a bath, but I'm sure they'll clean up. Anyway, now it's to see where they're going to escape from. So, anyway, Shepard's uh, homestead come out. And he helps secure the fence more to try to keep them from escaping in any form. I still might have to do some more on the space coop because I'm afraid inside it's a cyclone fence and they'll push through those holes at the bottom and go through that silver stuff and escape outside. So right now we're waiting to see where they're going to escape from. And they're back there. I'm going to walk you back and show you how bad that dog cage looked. And uh, Tommy will be coming back out to check. I bartered with him. I told him he could have one of my um, turkey bullets, one of the boys. And so he's been working on that in the hot sun. And he mowed that spot out for me. So I'm going to walk you back there. I'm sure you're not going to be able to hear me. So you don't need to message me and say, no sound. And then I'll walk back. But I'll show you what the chickens look like and what that dog cage look like. It's ucky. And 
I don't see none of the baby chicks. I don't know if you can hear me. I think they, they're they still in the dog cage. They won't come out. Okay. Let's go see what's going on in here. Maybe it's got to come the other way. Okay. Uh, so. Now, if I put the food out to entice them, and as you can see, this is what I'm worried about, if you can hear me. But I'm worried about them getting through there and escaping. But we've got it all ready. They got their water, if you can hear me. And we're still waiting on them to come out. But this is what the cage looks like. And look how dirty they are. So I'm going to try to get them out. Might have to dump the cage just to get them out. Let's see here. All right. Come on, guys. You gotta come out. 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 Come on, guys. You gotta get out. I gotta get this out of here. Alright, guys. Alright. Alright. Come on. Go check out your surroundings. Go on. Scoot, scoot, so I can open the gate. Thank you. Alright. Well, let's see how this goes. I guess time will tell. We'll see how it goes. Put that there to try to deter them a little bit. Whew. All right. Well, they're out. I might have to come back with the wagon and clean that yucky stuff up. Put it in the compost. Whew. Right. There we go. If they don't look cleaned up in a couple of days, I'm going to come out and give them a bath. Okay. So, anyhow, I think. All right. All right. Oh, hopefully. Man, Chewy. Yeah, I'm going to go. Hang on a minute. Let me see what I can do here. And I'm just going to pull this out of the way. It's really hot. All right.
Oh. Whew. Well, I got it over here. So anyways, guys, we'll see if they escape. And I'll have to go out there and dump that stuff into my wagon and put it in the compost. But that's all I got for you guys today. And like I said, homesteading sometimes is not easy. Have a good one.